welcome to Ponery's Penny Arcade, and this is episode 3, season 4, of The Long Dark Sandbox Survival. And as promised, I got my bearskin bedroll back, as you can see. I have also did all the cooking, and I think I forgot to... No, I dealt with the knife. Okay. And the gun. Yeah, we're pretty good. Okay. So, let's pick up our bedroll, and I think I did take care of all that. I've already looted this whole house. Like, I'll just take a little once-over just to show you that everything is empty. I got to pick up an extra cooking pot. It was on the stove there. I thought that was one, but it's just a metal pail. So you can take that down for um, scrap metal, basically. So, all this stuff is curing and whatnot. Um, it doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon, so I'm going to go ahead and start picking all this stuff up. <clears throat> and then when we hit the next point of interest, we'll go ahead and lay it back down on the ground. And I think what I might do is I might stick around and pass some time off camera to let all this cure. That way, the next time we pick it up, it'll just be usable and ready to go. And you don't have to sit there watching me take it apart over and over and over. I think I left, no, there's no water in this one, but the upstairs toilet, I think I left the water in it. Uh, we're pretty good on materials and whatnot, so we're pretty much done with this house. You know, I, I didn't want to waffle about like I did the last episode. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and just start making our way over to the radio tower, I believe is where we're going this time. And if I feel like, you know, we get there too quickly and there's other stuff that I can do, uh, what I'll plan on doing is I'll flesh out the map a little bit. As you can see, I sort of did that here already. But uh, I'll flesh out the map this way towards the radio tower. And I know there's like one small point of interest over here somewhere too. But essentially we're heading right over there. So let's get started, shall we? Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to mark the house that I did this already. So we'll just do this. And naturally that'll mark it on the map. Which is good. And then I can do this and survey. That should flesh that out. There we go. Nice. Farmhouse searched. There we go. Good. <clears throat> I think I killed like three or four wolves off camera on the way out here. Um, I think, oh, there's another one somewhere. Where are you at? Where are you at? Sounds like he's in front of me. Like right here. Yeah, there he is. Man, they just... Stalker is crazy with the number of wolves. Twice. Ow. I heard another one out there. So he'll run, that one will run. They'll re-aggro though, without a doubt. I gotta pick which one I wanna deal with first. This one, clearly. Come and get it, big fella. Really? Maybe I should have waited. Oh god, there's a bear. Man, I just can't seem to catch a break. One shot kill! Why is he still making noise? Oh god. You know what? Did he play possum on me? Dude! Hit the ground! Stay dead! Holy crap! What the hell was that? I've never seen that before. Like, he was just laying there groaning for a bit. And then, you saw it. He stood back up. I am so glad I didn't just walk up on him. Like, I heard that snarling, and I was just like, what in the hell is that? Man. You. What the hell? These wolves have to die. 
Well, that was weird. That was really weird. Am I bleeding? Nope, I'm not. <laughs> there are too many wolves here. And I really want to quarter this, uh, this bear. Alright, you are gonna die. Like, this is getting ridiculous. There we go. In your face! Alright, how frozen are you? One? Four percent already? some water. Oh, man. Here. <laughs> One more. I heard that one walking up. Like that one's going to come back too. We ain't got time to dick around with this. I can't believe you took four shots. Jesus. Uh, really? Really? Like I'm I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I shot him that second time. Man, whatever. Fine. How messed up are my clothes though? That's the big question. Alright, so we got that. Antiseptic, use that. And a painkiller. Use that. Oh, wait, I got a sprained ankle too? Wow. Man, you really jacked me up. Okay. Now painkiller? Yeah. Alright, so this means I stabbed him. I hope. <laughs> means I don't have to chase him anymore. That's good. Alright, let me quarter you. Two hours, two hours, two hours. It's all two hours. Damn it. I don't know why the view does that. Sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. Alright, that's one. I know these guys don't take nearly as long. Wait, this way? Takes an hour that way. Takes 48 minutes this way, so we're just gonna do this. Good, he's done. And I think I got one more over here, right? Right? You know what? I don't need it. I really don't. We're loaded up on meat anyway. Oh crap, I can't, there it is. I can't see the tower anymore. Shoot, I think it's over there. We'll figure it out. Give me all your meats. <clears throat> Hoping the sky clears. I had a pretty good day today. Um, in terms of productivity and mental fortitude, I guess is a good way to put it. I had a pretty good day today. It wasn't awful. I can tell you for sure, having the sunshine is nice. What is this? I'm getting text messages. Alright. I'm in the process of trying to help a friend who's got a serious uh, medical condition that she's been dealing with for quite some time, and I think I finally managed to get her put in front of somebody who can actually help her, so if you see me pause or hit the escape button or whatever, it's only because I'm trying to answer the, um, the messages, because we're on a time schedule for this one. Alright, give me a flare, give me whatever's in here, chips. Hungry later. Yeah, yeah. 
sky is not clearing, though I still think my destination is over there. So I'm just going to walk that way. Screw it. We really dicked around way too much yesterday to get to that farmhouse. Now, someone once told me that when the birds do this and they fly past you like this, bad weather's coming. Which, it's a little foggy, so I have no reason not to believe it. This map, jeez, man, there was a lot of wolves on it. Which is starting to worry me about Timberwolf Mountain, because before the last couple of updates, there were no Timberwolves on Timberwolf Mountain. But who's to say that there aren't now? Can I get up this? Kind of make my trip a little shorter? No. Damn. Damn! Pull out a little Farouk for you. to survey while I still can. I'm headed in the wrong direction. I gotta go that way. I think it was slightly south of me. What do we have over here? What is this? That's a no. Damn. Damn. I'm pretty sure the radio tower is over here somewhere. I know that you can set up a climbing rope on the other side uh, once you get up there. So that way, the next time you want to venture up that way, you can. But, for now, that doesn't look to be the case. I think I need to head more south. Like this way. And if we get lost, oh well. Now I'm not feeling so confident about this trek now. Suddenly. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me survey again. And, uh... Yeah, we're not heading the right direction. It's down here somewhere. Like, over this way. Alright, so let me get to the barn, and then I'll try to figure out my bearings. Another wolf. Jesus. Two more wolves. Fine. Wait, you don't want this smoke? <laughs> For real? This time I'm only going to take the hide in the guts. Hopefully that wolf doesn't attack me in the meantime. Oh no, my wool ear wrap wore out. Uh oh, did it like fall off my head? No! Weak. What else did they break? My boots are busted. Ooh, gloves are busted. Hats busted. Man, that sucks. Yeah, how'd that work out for you? Frick. Oh, the skies are clear now, so I can see where the hell I'm going. Uh, it's evening, too. You know what? We gotta find our bearings. Let me get over here. I don't rest you, man. Shut up. <laughs> okay, barn. Oh, what's up, bud? You don't look so good. Nothing. Baseball cap, take wood, 
Let's see what's in here. Cardboard matches. All right. I'll let somebody know that you were here tomorrow. <laughs> Where the hell is the radio tower? It's supposed to be here somewhere. Damn it. I'll make sure I'm headed in the right direction. We are not, so we gotta go this way. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Alright. Veered off course ever so slightly. <laughs> See how easy that, that foggy condition can do that to you, though? And then it's even more complicated and worse when it, when it's a blizzard condition. Like, even worse. Five feet in front of you, essentially. Okay. Go around. There should be enough daylight for me to make it there. Only well, problem is, is we're kind of tired. Something dead over there, too. This map is actually that really incredible for um, seem so crazy right now. places to loot, places to sleep, uh, resources for survival. Like this is one of the one of the best ones. This one and uh, Mystery Lake. Those are probably my two favorite places to spawn. I always pick a random spawn because, you know, it's not fair if you just pick it. So I usually just do a random. Timberwolf Mountain as a starting spawn is one of the worst. Like, it will kill you. If you have Interloper and Timberwolf Mountain, it will kill you. Like, it's tough. Wolves everywhere, bears everywhere. Mountains everywhere, wind everywhere on the mountain. Wind chill is horrific. Anyway, let me see if I have enough time to do this one more time. I can eat a horse. This guy's like always got a problem, doesn't he? Here, let's eat this energy bar. And let's eat some of the meat. We got a ton of it, right? Yeah, let's eat some bear meat. Mm -hmm. Now we're thirsty. Alright, give me some soda. I gotta drink these up to get rid of the weight anyway, honestly. There we go. Oh, that one was almost empty. Good enough, let's get moving. Check that house over there. I might have went to that house already when I backtracked for the bearskin. Alright, so the tower's there, but there's no climbing rope yet, so we have to go around the back side of it, which means I have to climb this. And because I sort of farted around, uh, I'm running out of daylight. So we're going to kind of get to the getting. Once I get up to there, we'll camp in, we'll fix our gear, hopefully, you know, lay out our materials, let them cure up a little bit more. Timberwolf Mountain has two really good spots to hold up. One is obviously the plane, um, but you got to come down eventually. And uh, two is like the hunter's cabin at the base of the mountain. Realistically, that's the best place to do it. But this will do for now. And I'm sure I'm about to sprain something trying to mountain goat this like this. I'm just waiting for it. Like, the game will pause and almost freeze for a split second, even on my i9, for whatever reason. Yeah, it's over there. There it is. <laughs> Without a doubt. 
It would have happened whether I ran or walked or anything, so it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna let it stay like that for a bit. Screw it. It's your punishment. Can I run? Yeah. I'm almost out of energy, though. Alright, let me go ahead and address this BS. <gasps> and I think <sighs> we're gonna eat some more bear meat. Mm-hmm. And I think I have... These are painkiller. Yeah. So we'll drink that. There we go. And their view should clear up now. I could just lay down. Have oh, look. Sleep. Now we have another sprain wrist. Great. Because we're tired. Here. Time to look for shelter. Yeah. That's where we're headed, Mackenzie. Should be able to pull this out again. Yarp. I'm sure there was a smoother route. Are those more wolves? Man, there are just so many wolves. It's okay, I think I'm out of their aggro range anyway. There's the tower. We're almost there. Yay! Yeah, I might need a couple of these. I didn't really get into doing the survival sandbox, especially for the channel, until I watched uh, Athenon Gaming. He's been around for a while now. I think he got his streaming start way before I did. But I think I've been doing this longer than he has overall. But then again, he talks about a lot of games that I used to play growing up, too, and he's got the history. I actually think he's older than I am, too. But, uh, one of his sayings, which is very good advice, is never pass up a stick in this game. Because if you need an emergency fire to save you from hypothermia or whatever, it would be advisable. So since we're this close, I'll go ahead and I'll harvest this log. Because I think that I think there's a burn barrel in there. It'll be dark. Crap, I heard something moving around. Yeah, see, I heard that. I'm surrounded. I am surrounded right now. That's one of the dangers of uh, messing about like this. At least they they did something about the ambient sounds, though. So that that really tipped me off. I was like, "Oh, there's something about to happen here." Right, I'm on the mountain goat down here. There we go. seems a bit of an exploit, if I'm honest. Like, you just crouch, and you can walk literally almost down a vertical surface. Alright, so before I forget to do it, I'm going to set up a climbing rope here. That way we don't have to come up, come up the long way anymore. A lot of times what you'll do is, you might use certain places as, um, like, survival shelters. So you may actually come back up here to use this place, or you might, you know, go down there and use that place. But it's always nice to have all these different avenues, should you choose to do so. Especially if you're doing those, like, long playthroughs where it's like three, five, seven hundred days, stuff like that. You're definitely going to want that. Like, little shelters and whatnot. <clears throat> okay, so there's a fire barrel outside. Um, well, we're not cold. I'm just going to see if there's something inside, too. I don't think there is, but I guess we're about to find out. Alright. Uh -huh. Aha, another revolver. Let's hope I never have to use this on anyone. No, let's hope we do. I'm just kidding. 
I'm kidding. Calm down, dog. What do we got? Okay. Oh, there's my other long johns. Nice. Now you have proof that they exist in the loot table. <laughs> All right, give me the goods. I think I can use uh, this. Maybe. Oh, there's another cartridge. Be very cognizant of what's on the floor because they, this developer is a genius when it comes to that. They stick things in like little uh, nooks and crannies and corners and then you're like, oh, hello, you know? And you're like, what's this? Hello, what's this? Sorry. I was doing a very weak attempt at a Stephen Fry impression. I can probably do it with a little bit of work. Might as well loot it while I'm here, right? Around. Nothing hidden up here. Stack of papers. Nothing like that. These are all unlootables. Oh wait, there's something in there. Oh, another box. See, I I love this new loot table because it gives you. Oh, I didn't even see this. <laughs> Coming handy. It gives you more options to survive. The loot table was very uh, weak before. Oh, an MRE. Hell yeah. Yeah, I, I'm totally digging this loot table. I like it. It just makes the, it makes this survival sandbox a little bit more bearable. Although I doubt Interloper would let you do it. was a fire striker too. Nice. What do we got? So obviously if I was playing this without the... Uh, is that military pants? Holy crap. So we got both the pants and the jacket here. And there's another rifle round too. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, see, this place was just ripe with good stuff. Boots. Is that another one? Granola bar. Is that a box? Revolver ammo. See? What a, what a just boon of good stuff. That was climbing socks! Oh, fantastic. Okay. So I'm pretty sure I've just looted out this entire building. I can't get the paper, right? Yeah. All right, so we got everything here. I'm going to turn this off. And we're going to go outside for a second. I don't think the wolves are going to be... Yeah, the fence is facing me. So what we'll do is we're going to start a fire. How many cattails left? No, but I got tons of this stuff. All right, so we'll use this. And we'll use a book. Sure. Fahrenheit 451, right? Man, I wonder if they'll ever, like, the graphics are rudimentary, but they're very, like, they're enough where it's just excellent. But I have to wonder if they would ever be able to get ray tracing to work with this. Like, that might be just over the top epic. All right, so we're going to add fuel and just get rid of all this garbage first. Three hours just worth of books. That's cool. And I really don't need the torch. And... Got a lot of sticks. Sticks there. We got 12 hours worth. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is put the pots down. Okay, and we're just going to start cooking up. Let's see. We got a lot of meat. We got to go through a lot of meat. Oop, shoot. Uh, where is my camping craft? Oh, if you notice, I also have a um, bedroll. We, I found that in a barn on the way to go back to get my uh, bearskin. All right, so it's going to take 10 minutes to harvest, so I'll do both of those. I'm just doing this for materials. I was going to lay out all the skins and stuff. Actually, maybe I should. 
Yeah, let's do that. Let me go inside real quick. I'll drop all the skins. Get those sort of curing again. There's a bed here, so I'm just going to drop it all right here. Is it this? Yeah. Cured. These are all my cureds. These are not. That one, that one. All of those. Lots of guts. Okay, 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 okay. I think it's all of these. Okay. Good. Okay. You all do your thing. The meat should be done by the go by the time I go back outside. Hopefully, don't need this. This one is done. We'll eat it. Go ahead and burn the time for this, and then back to cooking. And now it's time to just make the best use of our time. So the first thing I'll do is continue harvesting my materials. Like, we're dead tired, I get it. What I'll probably do is I'll just sleep a whole day in between. Um, I might need these for backup, so we're going to go ahead and repair this. Just in case of my rabbit's fur gloves fail. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see. That I don't need. I think the meat just changed. Yeah. Sometimes what you can do is like squat down, so that way you can see the colors of your materials change. Like I'm trying to figure out a good place to put this. Like here? Yeah, so I can see them here. And then, let's see, do I have the materials to repair this? No, I still need cured guts, which I do not have yet. Um, ah, shoot, it's ruined. Damn it. It's fine. I want to make a moose skin bag eventually anyway. All right, these I want to repair. Oh, and by the time I repair these, the meat will be done. Like, you should probably see them change visually. No? How much time's left? Oh, they're, they're already done. <laughs> I forgot. You have to pay attention to the weight, too, because certain ones will take longer and shorter just because of their size. So that's 44, and that's 44. Now I can go back to here and <coughs> repair these. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> repair, you idiot. I almost ruined those. Holy crap. There we go. All right, I need to drink. Man, that was close. I'd have been pissed. Take that one, take that one. Cook that one. Uh, I think we have meat that we got a quarter too, don't we? Like, I did the bags. Yeah, I did, okay. So, how long is this gonna take? 18 minutes, no problem, no problem. Okay. Four minutes. Take that. And now I can cook the bear meat. And I know that takes time. 32 and 52. Okay. Hopefully it's not windy enough to blow out my fire. Because that would suck. What? Oh. I 
I'm not cooking all this, by the way. I have a plan. You'll see. And then all that extra meat, right, the stuff I'm not cooking, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this place as a repository for food. So I'm going to drop all this raw meat. And yes, I know I'm carrying a ton right now. All right, so that's all that meat. And now what I'll do is I'll harvest all of this to get rid of it. Uh... And I'm going to leave this here too, but I'll do it in a separate pile. So what's going to happen is, is the game will not let meat freeze, which sucks. Like, I think you should let the meat freeze if it's sitting on the ground, on snow, on ice. But for whatever reason, they don't want you to let, let you have that, I guess. They're like, no, 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 we've given you enough with this awesome loot table, which truth be told, it's pretty awesome that loot table. Alright, there we go. So that's all my bear meat, and over here I will just drop all the raw wolf meat because there's a trick to this. This will say ruined eventually, and it'll be like 0%. But if I pick it up and I cook it, it will actually um, cook to 50% again. So you sort of get it back. So in the meantime, what we'll do is we're going to continue to repair our gear, and then we'll pick and choose the best gear we can wear. Because once you get to Timberwolf Mountain, you need to have your... Well, let's just be honest. You need to have your shit on tight. <coughs> Alright, so the next thing I want to do is eat this. And prep my coffee. So this will be done first, and we'll drink that. And then we'll eat the soup. Okay. Oh, I got Cooking Master. Nice. Alright, so now we're going to start harvesting all this crap. Actually, you know what? Uh... We're technically out of time for the day, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to thank you all for watching, and I will remind you that if you're new here, welcome, and if you are a regular here, welcome back. Either way, maybe check out my other playlist to see if my other interests will be of interest to you. Despite the fact that I keep saying I'm going to work on the Swedish Mauser, I'm actually going to work on the Swedish Mauser, um, and hopefully get you a new This Old Gat if you are a follower of my channel for that content. As for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sleep a day after I repair and harvest all this material and try to get all my gear sorted out uh, as best as possible. So that way we can head up to this side of the map where I believe it's called Three Strikes Ranch or something like that. That'll be our next point of interest. And then for the final episode of this quote season, we'll go over to the northeast corner and make our way to a prepper's cache, which is sitting right next to the entrance of Timberwolf Mountain. So, in the meantime, thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next episode. Later. My dogs are saying later, too. See? Bye!